everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang tungkol sa power. So power is defined as the rate at which work is done. So basically, sinasabi sa atin ng power kung gaano kabilis na nagagawa ang isang work. So ang unit na ginagamit natin dito is watt or this one is also equivalent to joule per second. So mas madalas nating naririnig sa mga power um, output ng mga machines yung horsepower. So yung unit na horsepower, this one is equivalent to 746 watts. Now yung power natin, meron siyang equation na power is equal to work over time. So itong power, meron din siyang another equation which is Fv cosine theta. Ginagamit natin itong Fv cosine theta kapag given tayo ng speed at given tayo ng force ng ating object. So based ito sa ating equation, masasabi natin na kapag mataas yung ating work done, mataas din yung ating power. And kapag mataas yung ating time, mas maliit yung power kasi yung time and yung power are inversely proportional. So a new conveyor system at a local packing plant will utilize a motor power mechanical arm to exert an average force of 800 newtons to push large crates a distance of 12 meters in 22 seconds. Determine the power output required of such a motor. Okay, so identify muna natin yung given natin. So meron tayo dito ng given na force na 890 newtons. And given tayo ng distance, or in this case, pwede natin itong tawagin also as your displacement, na 12 meters. And given tayo ng time na 22 seconds. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is yung power output. Now, alam natin ang formula for power is equal to work over time. So, since meron tayong force and displacement, pwede na natin itong makompute. So, ang gagawin ko lang dito sa equation ng power, papalitan ko lang yung work ng equation na to. So, instead na W yung isusulat ko is Fd cosine theta. And then, i-divide ko siya sa time. So, ngayon, isa-substitute na natin yung mga values. So, yung force natin is 890 newtons. And then, yung displacement natin is 12 meters. So, since yung ating force and displacement dito, they are just acting in the same direction. So, therefore, yung theta natin, that is just equal to zero. So, ito magiging cosine of zero degree. So, di-divide natin to dun sa time na 22 seconds. So, pag in-input natin to sa calculator, ang magiging final answer natin for power is 185 watts. So, how much time is needed to produce 720 joules of work if 90 watts of power is used? So, based on sa problem, meron tayong given na work na 720 joules and given tayo ng power na 90 watts. So, pinapahanap sa atin dito yung time. So, we know yung equation natin ng power is equal to work over time. Kaya, para masolve natin yung time, um, ang pinaka-shortcut nito is pagpalitin nyo lang yung pwesto ng power at saka time. So, time is equal to work over power. So, substitute na natin yung ating value. So, 720 joules divided by yung ating power na 90 watts. So, makukuha nating sagot dito is 8 seconds. If 68 watts of power is produced in 18 seconds, how much work is done? Okay, so given tayo dito ng power na 68 watts and then given tayo ng time na 18 seconds. So tinatanong sa atin dito is the work done. So meron tayong equation na power is equal to work over time. Para compute natin yung work, so cross multiply lang natin yung power and yung time. So, work is equal to power times time. So, substitute natin yung values. So, meron tayong 68 watts times the time which is 18 seconds. So, ang ating work is equal to 1,224 joules. So, sana po nakatulong ito ng malaki sa inyo. Abangan niyo po yung mga next videos ko sa physics tutorials.